Kicking off this section with the Telegraph <coughs> and the Green Party in a row over non-green issues. What's going on, Kerry? This is a story of a uh, former Green deputy, uh, Sharar Ali, um, who was fired because of his opinions on uh, trans issues and is now suing the party, which he'll probably win. We've, we've seen a number of these cases and it is probably going to come down to a free speech case. And as we've seen each time, uh, the free speech argument normally does win. But this is a first of its kind because I don't think there's been one where someone has sued their own party for not allowing them to, uh, to have their views. And I'm kind of binary on this because well, whilst on the sex on on no on the story of whether a party i've only just looked at the story and um should a party uh, parties do have a line they go this is the party line and if you don't like it that's what we're about and uh, yeah. and if he's not towing that line which is you know literally towing the line then uh, uh they do they have a right to fire him and say this it doesn't matter what you think you know well hang on a second that's what though, we're about Perry, I, I do accept that point that they need to tow the party line but when it is completely in denial of biology surely lewis this if somebody is allowed to believe in year one biology well they no, no, because, because uh, I mean, I agree. Uh, listen to me. People out there are going to hear this and they're going to think to yourself, oh, this guy's taking that, that, that side. But I agree with Carrie, is that, is that you're in a party. People should be allowed to have views and they should be allowed to be kicked out of the party for having those views because it's like a club. It's like private business. And you can't have the government go in there and say, you have to have this guy, even though you don't like what he believes in. And I think that's the problem. I've got to say, I don't like that. I don't like that's what our parties are about. I don't like that there are whips saying everyone's got to say the same thing. I'd, yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather be full of. In but it doesn't work that way. That's not how uh, how our politics is. Yes, and, exactly. But I do, but I do remember when polit political parties are more defining themselves by their economics and their politics rather, politics rather than you know what but they those think are of, also of, of sex and gender and uh, you know those biology. Those are also those are also belief systems and. Uh, you should be able to have a debate in a political party, but if the political party does not want to have the debate, we should not use the state. That's the problem. But you can have a Christian party, and then that's their views. It doesn't matter whether yeah, they're correct or they're right. That's you, what the party but believes, right? let's say right? you have a, you're a Christian party, and then someone comes in and says, I'm not a Christian. The Christian party should be allowed to kick you out. And these people, these green people, believe... It OK, can. so isn't this a real problem for the Green Party, though, is because they're embracing trans ideology and there's going to be a lot of people who are very passionate about green issues, climate change, well, etc., this is the problem. who will not go along with this stuff. It's not sh it, So far, the gender issue has not been shown to be a vote winner. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, it, it hasn't. Yeah. We, we, so, yeah. so it's up to them. That, that's what I'm saying. They can make their decisions, and uh, it, it, it tends to be a, a bit of a punch in the face for, the, for what most of the public feel on the issue. But you're there. hearing the word green, and what they the, and green includes green issues, but it also includes just the bog standard radical left issues yeah, as well. Completely agree. 